Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Suvi to Yourself. In this video, I am going to share you how to cut and stitch this beautiful simple short top for summer. You can pair it with skirt, jeans pant and palazzo. Now, for that, I have taken a 1.5 meter printed cotton fabric. Here we have 4 layers. I have folded the fabric by half in width. Now, folded side, open side, draw a straight line to trim the raw edges. Firstly, I'll cut the required length for the top, which is 24 inch. Extend these lines and I'm going to cut it. In my measurement, shoulder is 13 inch divided by 2 is 6.5 inch. So, I am marking 6.5 inch as shoulder. Neck width point is 3 inch. From this point, mark half inch down for shoulder slope. Then join this with the neck width point. So, again for arm hole depth, you have to mark 7 inch from this point. From the shoulder, mark 7.5 inch, which is chest measurement and 15 inch for waist measurement. I am extending these points. So in my measurement, chest is 40 inch divided by 4 gives you 10 inch plus 2 inch for seam allowance. So I am marking 10 inch plus 2 inch. In my measurement, waist is 34 inch divided by 4 gives you 8.5 inch plus 2 inch for seam allowance. So I am marking 10.5 inch. 8.5 inch plus 2 inch. So my hip measurement is same as my chest measurement. So I am marking 12 inch. Place the armhole scale here and mark the back armhole curve. So from this point mark half inch then join with the shoulder width point. Then mark half inch inwards and draw a front arm wall curve. So join these points. So my front neck depth is 3 inch. For back neck I will cut while stitching. Draw a round neckline. Now I'm going to cut it. Cut only the back arm hole. Make small notches at the chest and the waist measurement. Now separate the back portion. Trim the front arm hole curve for the front portion. I have taken a leftover fabric, two layers, fold the fabric by half in width, so length of my sleeve is 6.5 inch which includes same allowance, width of the sleeve is 10 inch. From here mark 3 inch then extend these points. My sleeve round is 7 inch plus seam allowance. So join these points. So from here mark 1 inch inwards. So draw, I am drawing a back sleeve. So again from this point mark half inch down then draw a front sleeve. With this my sleeve marking is complete now I am going to cut it. Make a center notch. Now trim the front sleeve. So with this my cutting is complete now I will show you how to stitch. For the front portion I have taken an interface. 
I'm folding it by half in width and mark 0.75 inch and length is 4 inch. So join these two points. Leave some half inch space and draw a line. Now I'm cutting it. This is how it looks. Now I'll place this with the fabric. This is the wrong side of the fabric and I'm placing an interface in it. Now I'll fold the edges and I'll make a stretch. Now trim the excess fabric. This is the front portion. Mark the center of it. Now place the interface at the center and make a stitch at the center first. Then give a stitch at the sides near to the interface. Then turn it into the wrong side of the fabric. This is because it will not move. Now make a stitch near to the interface. Now turn it. So leave some half inch space and trim the excess fabric and make small cuts all over the neck. Now I am turning it into the wrong side of the fabric. This is how it looks. Now make a stitch here. So I have taken a strips, fold the fabric like this and make a stitch here. Then I will place this under the neck and I will make a stitch. So now I am placing these strips under the neck now I'll make a stitch here I have taken a bias strip now I'll place this bias strip at the wrong side of the neck portion and I will complete the neck portion by turning it into the right side of the fabric. Make small cuts all over the neck. Now turn the bias strip like this. Fold it twice and make a stretch. So this is how it looks. Now I will show you the back portion. So mark 1 inch from here and draw a round neckline. Now cut it. So using this bias strip I will finish this back portion. I am placing the back portion on the front portion. So I have attached the bias strip with the neckline and I will complete it once I finish the attaching the shoulder. Now I will make a stitch here. I have shown this in my video many times so I am skipping this step. If you want to see it then please check the description box. I have finished attaching. Now I am finishing the back neckline by folding the bias strip twice and I am making a stitch. I finished attaching. Now I am attaching the sleeves with the shoulder. Always make double stitch at the sleeves. I 
Fold the bottom of the sleeve twice and make a stitch at the inner edge. Similarly, I finished the other sleeve. You can see I finished attaching both the sleeves with the fabric. I have completed the bottom of the sleeve as well. Now I'll attach both the sides. For that, I'm marking 4 inch from the bottom. Mark 4 inch here. So from the sleeve round, attach till this point for both the sides. I finished attaching the sides now from for the slit area open the fabric like this and fold it twice fold this twice and make a stitch stitch up to this point then lift the pressure foot turn the fabric and fold the fabric again and make a stitch similarly I'll finish the other side Now I am folding the bottom twice and I will make a stitch at the inner edge. Similarly I finish the other side. I hope you like this video. If you like it please like, share, subscribe and comment. With this my stitching is complete. This is how it looks. Thanks for watching.